So I'm back in this world again, and um, we are going to do an over overpressurization test to see if something works. Um, as you can may see, I've changed uh, something about the outlet here, and I'm going to insert that little file here. Here we go. So what we're going to do in this one, we're not going to actually do the experiment that I was planning. Um, uh, we're going to improve the build just a little bit before we start. And uh, we'll get this under three. There we go. Take this out. And we'll take some pills here. There we go. Don't know why a robot needs pills, but uh, I do for some reason. And we'll continue the uh, depressurization process. That should probably be enough. There we go. Kill that. Put that there and put that there. Okay, so. Um, I changed the design a little on this side. That I changed, I moved, or I... I removed the back pressure valve and installed a, a digital valve with a pipe sensor. So the pressure is low enough that we can still work on this without the pipes exploding. So I'm going to put a uh, chip housing right there. I want this to be right side up. Mm, like that. And we'll wire it up. Not exactly sure how much of that I fast forwarded, but probably some because it's not really prescient and it's not really conversational. So. Oops, I could have done it that way. Tell you one game that I've learned to love is Raft. That's a that's a good game. There. Now this should power. Yes, it does. Good for you. And I've named those. So now we need the IC. There. So. I guess it's because of the sun needing it. No, the temperature. I don't know why. Oh well. Okay, so I am going to start programming this now, which uh, is not going to be uh, very entertaining to see because I just sort of code it on a, on a notepad and then I'll just paste it in. So once I get the once I get the coding done, let's see. First, first, let me get the variables. Get the the two things: turbo volume, um, outlet valve. There we go. Then outlet sensor. There. Those are the two things that I need to run that. And then I will be right back with the code. Okay, so I added uh, a light here. And I just have to code the light now. Oops. And it's very simple. So... Um, that's the max pressure the, uh, the pipe can be at. I probably should change that to 55 to give some, some room for error. Uh, then read the pressure. Oh no, uh, make the, make the, um, a variable alias here. Uh, then read the pressure. If it is less than overpressure, then run valve. 
uh, if it's over uh, the overpressure, then kill valve. And then these are the two um, uh, programs for that. Just going to update my my text file script. Okay, there we go. Export. Doop -doop. Doop -doop. There. And now the light will come on when this um, uh, when this valve is open. And right now there's only like uh, 30,000 or something in there. Yeah, 34 millipascals. I might uh, bring it up later, but uh, for now, that's all I'm going to do for this one. Let's close it back up. Uh, I could put that in there, but I'm going to leave it out here for now because I kind of like having direct access to that kind of stuff without opening it up. I can change whatever I want to it. Um, and if the pipe is actually overpressurized, I don't have to worry about it. Now, over here, I was thinking about changing this again, but I just don't want to. I'm just lazy. So that's, uh, that's it for that improvement. Great. The wonders of editing. So, uh, let's just go over here a little bit. Get well enough away so that if it explodes, we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so we need a tank for this. I'm just going to use the large tank. Is that the large tank? I guess that's the large tank. Again, I haven't played this game very much, so sometimes things don't look exactly the way I, I remember them. Or that I think they should. So now that we have that built up, we're going to get a turbo pump. Oops. There we go. And then we're going to put the pumping in there. There. Now that we have this temporary in, RTG, we will get a a cheat power source here. So that we can power this. And that should be filling now. Yes, it is. Now we got to get on our ass because that is going to overpressurize very quickly. And what we're going to do is we're going to seal it in. There. So now... The, the pipe is being covered. And this pipe should never go over the internal pressures in there. But uh, this, we'll see if, if it can rise to over um, 64 megapascals and see if it blows up. And if it does blow up, then we'll uh, cover the entire uh, uh, nub here and see if that works. Okay, so we're over the danger threshold now, and it is still pressurizing. Oh, oh I thought I saw gas leaking out, but that was just from my, uh, my exhaust. So, let's uh, go here. And we'll just sit and wait. We'll, um, I don't know when I'll stop. I'll just, you know, sit here for the next five or ten minutes and compress the video down and uh, see how high we can make it. Okay, so that's, um, that's, that's pretty uh, telling that uh, it's probably not... Uh, destructible, but uh, let's try just one more test here. I'm gonna uh, build out the the stuff I will need. Now let's see if the exact same thing will work for the uh, small tank. The uh, let's see if this still has. 
Ooh. Oh no! It, oh, look at that! It's almost—it's uh, almost completely drained into that uh, into that one one big tank there. We're at 163 megapascals. And this one, or not so high, but it's still going up. Very slowly. This is probably empty by now. Yeah, it's at atmosphere now. But... Let's go in and refill it. It'll be fun. That's enough for now, but as you can hear, it's sucking in so much gas through these uh, 27 vents that it's... I can't, I can't even get into the... Uh, <clears throat> into the airlock anymore. Oh god, this is difficult. Oh, I'm stuck. Wee! I'm stuck. Okay, so future me here because past me forgot to plug the microphone back in, which was uh, uh, not a great idea. So right now I'm just depressurizing the airlock here and uh, waiting for everything to come down. This time I made sure to have my um, my propellant tank uh, pressurized. So now I'm just coming over here to take a look at uh, what the gases are like. And um, the small tank hasn't pressurized too, too much. It's uh, actually very low at this point. And uh, I'm starting to formulate a plan here. And the plan is to go to Mars. And it's not going to work out real great. Um, I will show you some snippets from that. Here we are, jumping all the way ahead to when I set fire to myself. And realized that the um, microphone was turned off or unplugged. Take it away past me. Well, this is an interesting... Uh, turn of events. Pure oxygen can burn. It doesn't need fuel. I've also noticed this in the game. When you uh, burn anything, like say oxygen, you suddenly get CO2, which is not how that works. You need carbon in the atmosphere or somewhere. If you just burn pure oxygen, which um, I don't think is uh, completely flammable by itself, it will well, I guess it does flash, I don't know. But mostly you need a hydrocarbon. Uh, or a, um, a hydroxide um, for it to burn. So if this, if this was a fuel mixture, let's say it was a, a hydrogen-oxygen fuel mixture, and uh, it ignited, the byproduct would be water, not carbon dioxide. There'd be no carbon dioxide uh, in the atmosphere. And if it was just oxygen burning, it it would be a, a thermal reaction. It wouldn't be a, you know, a fire, quote unquote. But I guess they don't really want to have uh, accuracy in this game. Anyways, so 
I'm pretty sure that I have uh, quite a lot of uh, Is it almost done? Yeah, I guess it's done. I have quite a lot of, uh... Quite a lot of gas in these tanks. I've been sucking up. Let's see how high it is. Still only 53. This one's much higher, though. So, this one is, uh, 346... Uh, megapascal, megapascal, megapascals. So, it is really um, indestructible. It'll go on forever. It'll get as heavy as possible. It'll just keep going. I could leave this running all night long if I wanted to. I won't because I don't. Uh, I want to use my computer for other things. So, all you need to do is just um, in case uh, a storage uh, storage tank in a block. I think if you push it back far enough, um, you can actually have uh, you can have it completely within a one by one space. Um, I didn't really test it that great, but. Uh, Where'd it go? What are those little, um, those little portable tanks? These guys? These guys seem to be also, uh, indestructible, um, when encased in a, in a wall. So, yeah. You don't need to, uh, you don't need to make, uh, huge, uh, storage areas or anything like that. You just... In case something in a wall, make sure that the uh, the uh, make sure you have a pump in there. I prefer a turbo pump or something because you can change its directions you know, with uh, with an IC chip, and it just it can just go on forever. Let's put on the whatever. That's almost 64. I'm not going to wait for it. I, th I think you get the, you get the I idea, but... Everything is indestructible. Well, I don't know everything's indestructible, but... Um, pipes and tanks are indestructible in the... Uh, in walls. Do with that information what you will. <laughs>